Direct them to that loot. What will happen to the sailors? Don't worry about them. We'll make sure they wash up safe. Maybe they'll even pay us for the heroic rescue from their sad crash. That is unacceptable. I should turn you to the guards. Turn me in? For what? What crime's been committed? I'm just making idle talk about what would most undoubtedly be a tragic event. A tragic, no. and very, very profitable event. Planning a crime is a crime. Sorry. It would be best if we spoke little until we've completed the task. Let's see if I can learn something new from her or if I can make a few more connections in the story or in between people. Maybe something new happens. I want to get another impression of the jaw here. Last time I couldn't even talk to it. Here, her or him, whoever is in charge here for real. Just tidying up. So now I can talk to if you. If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. Why did Alfred kill your husband? Because that's what traitorous cowards do when they desire power. Oh. Ulfric yeah. coveted the High King's throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torik. And yeah. so he came before my husband and he he shouted with that terrible voice. Like something out of a legend. Or a nightmare. So what? When Ulfric unleashed such fury. My husband, he, he simply ceased to be. That is all I will say. Or it and that's not the whole story. It. That's obviously not the whole story here. Are you the High Queen? Not yet, no. Although it is true my husband Torig was the High King, and I am his widow. Now is not the time to lay claim to such a title. This land is riven by war, and her people suffer for it. The Stormcloaks are a blight on Skyrim, and like any blight, must be purged. Only then will I oh, take my God rightful damn place. Oh she's dangerous, delusional, and she's lying! Wait, I have no pity for taking over her throne. You, do you trust General Chilius? A question I am all too familiar with. One my very thanes ask often. They worry that Tullius is so focused on the war that he risks forgetting what's best for our people. The real irony is that, while General Tullius is certainly no Nord, the people of Skyrim would be lost without him. Trust is always difficult, especially for my people. Yet we must trust in Tullius's leadership. For what other choice do we have? Interesting. Who is the be general? Well. Pray for solitude and my husband. Seriously, where's the general? Is it you? No. Ryling's obsession with honor and tradition is quaint, but politically irrelevant. Do all the Tains support Elizabeth? Oh, most certainly. At least when Elizabeth herself asks. <laughs> if you're inquiring whether we have concerns you know why the support her? Because she's a woman. Uh, this way. The Thanes have every confidence in General Tullius's leadership. What's your place in the court? Oh. I'm a Thane. In the future, you may want to gain that information before talking with someone. Okay. Risk of looking like an idiot. I must nah, nah, nah. 
I'm looking like an idiot right now. Watch me walking around like an idiot. Hello, I'm an idiot. What you got for sale for idiots like me? You got some nice books? Oh, indeed you do. Bound sword. Bound battle. Oh, excellent. Bound water battle. Forget it. I got a bone that legs. Fuck it, shit. Conjure familiar. This is basically a cheaper version of Etrona. Let's buy it anyways. Target will not flee. 